fantastic. We've got uh, Matt Slayer with us today on the old Skype or Rooney. Jay Izzo uh, with the book Got Social Mediology is with us. Um, we've got our crew in studio. And uh, uh, Jay, since, since we did this earlier with, with the rappers, uh, let's do this with, 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 our, with our, as they say, the porn guest. Because it, it is the top of the hour. That's always the porn guest. Um, if you were going to help Matt market his uh, his adult film career and his podcast and everything, what what would be uh, some ideas there with with, with your uh, Got Social Mediology book? Well, generally, the porn industry, which by the way is a multi billion dollar industry yes, and is, is largely responsible, that's the new cigarette. <laughs> 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 is uh, is largely responsible for most of the stuff that we actually use on the internet, believe it or not. So, they generally advance uh, things like social media and the internet because they're willing to take risks in technology that generally most people do not do. And so they have a tremendous advantage. And I think with if you try to promote this, you know, what it means that you have to take advantage of is you know video. I mean, video is everything, right? That's what the industry is about. And I know we were going to talk to um, Annabelle, and we never did. But I, I really wanted, I think it would be a great interview because I think one of the things that she probably could speak to is just how powerful video is in that industry. And, you know, so you have to find ways to use snippets and video to get that out, and you have to do it appropriately. And I think probably, you know, the, I, I think that is that's really the primary way that you're going to be able to make That's it. Is. It's video. It's because we can't... Podcasts... I, see, I don't understand, Matt, about the podcast. I'm, I'm sure it's great. I haven't listened to it. I'm sure it's great. But it's a video industry, not a not a listening industry. I don't think I want to listen to people have sex. Well, <laughs> that, that's thankfully not what we're doing. We're not we're not phone sexing people over the you know over the radio. I, I, it's, I, a long, it's a long-form interview show, so a lot of the guests... And we have mainstream guests on as well. Sure. You get to know your performers outside of them just having sex, like what their interests are, sure. you know, more about them as people. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, it's, good. All right. I, I mean, that's, I mean, I think that's, I think, I think it's interesting. But again, I think the biggest, the bigger issue is right. If, I mean, even if you could do, a, you know, I don't know if you could do Facebook Live, but certainly when YouTube Live comes available to us here pretty quickly. By the way, YouTube Live's coming out. It should be up before the end of the year. That we're, it's going to be accessible to everybody. You don't have to have a thousand subscribers on YouTube. But I think you want to probably even do a video of the podcast. I think is what you want to do, honestly. Oh, that—that that is definitely something we're working towards. Okay. And yeah. before okay. Drake left the show, that was one of the big goals. But because of the recent change up in you know production staff, right. it's been a little bit of a setback. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but that's where I would head because I think that's where you're going to get the most. Um, that's where you're going to get probably most of your subscribers, and how you're going to get the most subscribers. Now, uh, let's see. We've got uh, now, 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 Matt. But besides the podcast, what else you've been up to? Oh, not too much actually. Just been you know plugging away at that. Just been out you know living the Hollywood life, drinking, partying, going to comedy shows. Just, you know. <laughs> that's <laughs> it. Not not. Not, 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 not too much heavy lifting. Nah. Why, why would I want to do that? That like fun. That's right. So, uh, I'll have... keep my witty comment to myself. What? <laughs> what? Go. He, he. Matt, Matt, he Matt can it. handle it, but believe me. He left me. it open about how he was wasn't lifting anything heavy. Uh. We all miss that. Say you got a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh still there, buddy. We, we, we all miss that. Jay has a missed it. Matt missed it. I missed it. You might think I'm a king of the smart asses, you know. John missed it. Last Equinox missed it. We're I all just said sitting I was here keeping going. my witty comment to myself. Well, see, I thought she was going to make some, some, some comment, and then Matt was going to zing her back. We were going to have a... we yeah. got to remember, she's a nice lady, but she's a female. She wants to make us figure out everything on her own on things, <laughs> instead of just saying it. Instead it's of like, my job to make you instead think. Instead of like, hey, where do you want to go to eat, honey? Oh, I don't know. I don't it's anywhere. Know. Well, no, I don't want to go there. It's like, well, then just shut up and tell me, you know? Gosh. <laughs> Do you want some french fries? No, because half the times when I sit there and say where I want to go, it's vetoed. Well, it's like, I mean, it's it's like you think you're talking to James Comey trying to get stuff out of people, you know? 
So, uh, okay. Matt, did you appreciate my witty comment? I did indeed. Of course I did. <laughs> Now, uh, so, so, but besides, so you're going to comedy shows, you're, 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 you're getting drunk and smoking weed. That's pretty much That's my kind of guy. <laughs> Sounds like a college student at UC Berkeley. Damn. Well, to be fair, I actually don't smoke. I'm just a drunk. Okay, oh, okay. cool then. Hey, you're still his type of guy. Don't worry, man. And a what? And a what? He's just a drunk. He doesn't smoke. But he, add, he added and a... My my co-host just showed up at my house, so hold oh. on one second. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna slide her in here, as they say. But um, boom. Yes, <laughs> there is that. I gotta see that. <laughs> and then and then uh, she's not here yet. She's not here yet. But uh, now you're killing me, Smiles. You're killing me. <laughs> so Get so. Get the cashmere glove out and everything. <laughs> So with the two A eight podcast, is there is there a, a new uh, is there like a, a new Twitter handle or an, a new website and everything for this or so the new branding is oh, okay. and now we drink and thankfully because you can just change over at names for Twitter and Instagram if you're already subscribed to our social media you're already there ah oh. look at that fantastic so we just changed up the names the website is now. And now we drink.com. And you can get us on SoundCloud, iTunes, everywhere you can get podcasts. We especially want to, you know, plug our boys over at Laughable, which is a awesome podcast that we can subscribe to not only shows but individual artists and comedians. There we go. And now we drink. Holy smokes, you are you are correct. I like typing this in as you follow each other. Well of course we do. Look at that. Fantastic. Hey, but Jay Rizzo just um, texted me. He said he'll be right back. He's got a phone call. So. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, we've got uh, this. This is a hell of a deal, by the way, Matt. This. Uh, the, the, where, 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 where did you meet this? Uh, this Annie Cruz. She looks like a perv magnet. Say <laughs> <laughs> <Favorite> word. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm well, of course years, she's. We all, a couple of years ago, we almost ended up as roommates, and that didn't quite work out. And thankfully, she was free to do the show, and here we are, just drinking and getting weird. Look at that. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> so, fucking awesome. On Twitter, <laughs> this man has a great life. He does have a great life. I'll have you to say, you street, you bro. you should have seen him in action out there at the at the at the uh, AEE, the AVN oh, convention. No, he crazy. was. There was a couple times where he'd just go hang out at different people's booths. Yeah. He'd just kick back and hang out, nothing else going on. That's right. I'd see him here, I'd see him there, and I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's like, ah, I know somebody. That is so dumb. <laughs> I'm like, what? You were the shit, my friend. <laughs> I, I've been around for a minute. I, I know some people. Kudos to you. <laughs> how, the hell, how did you guys get, even get involved with all this stuff? Like, how did that even come about? Um, the power of alcohol, actually. So when I still lived in Chicago, <laughs> there used to be a Burning Angel night at one of the bars I used to frequent. And through there, I just used to party with a bunch of the Chicago Burning Angel girls. Through them, I just ended up meeting more and more people. My initial background is I'm a security professional, so I met some girls that need someone to go on the road with them. So I would end up going on the road while girls were featured dancing. Through them, I met more people and more people. In 2011, I moved to Vegas. And from there, just, you know, it just snowballs. Once you know some people in the industry, it's a really tight-knit, small industry. That is awesome. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God damn. That is, that is so tight. Man. Well, it oh, was, it, like oh, I said, it was great. Well, well, walking around, walking around the convention. He knows everybody, and they all know him. And I'm like, the hell is this? He's like, he, he, he's. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, he doesn't. And 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 he, and 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 this and this is this is this is no bullshit. Matt looks like he's healthy, whereas like Ron Jeremy, when I seen him this yeah, last year, yeah. he's just kind of like, eh, he's just kind of sitting there, like standing him up in the corner. Like he died in the sun. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's like Matt knows everybody, <laughs> and it, 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 he doesn't look. You know, he he may. You know, he, he's telling us all this stuff about getting drunk and partying, but it doesn't look like one of those guys that parties all the time. He's <laughs> living a good life. <laughs> I may drink all the time, but I do try to eat pretty clean. You know, I had some egg whites and a pork chop for breakfast this morning. That's smart. That's good stuff. That sounds good right now. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I have, I've had no food.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, people who, I, who know me at AE, and I didn't really remember the girl who actually whipped Jiggy. Totally was coming on to me and acting like she knew me, and I did not remember her till. Oh yeah, I remember that. Really? She's like, I met you at a party, and and Matt looks at me at one point and goes, I don't know. Who is. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and then like a day later, I think it was, I think we did this on Friday, or no, we did. I think we did it on Thursday, and then by the time I'd seen him on Saturday, he's like, I remember where I met her. You <laughs> mean it? They met her at a party. At a party. <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't just a party. Turns out that she was my buddy's ex-girlfriend. Jeez. Uh, uh, wicked ways She was trying to have a party in her pants. Uh, <laughs> and, buddy in the pants and everybody's uh, coming. Uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, you know, he... he I almost he, think I should have said. See? Because... I, she invited me over to a hot tub party. I'm like, where do I know this girl? She's been really forward for someone. And then I realized right before I showed up to the party <laughs> that she was my buddy's ex. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's not where I need to be. There's a reason she's his ex. Holy shit. <laughs> See, you should have went to Vegas. I just move in with him. And <laughs> you just got to move in with the fans there. Doc, let him be our manager. And <laughs> we all win. <laughs> there you go. Now, uh, the, if you want to find them on the old Twitter, and now we drink at, and now we drink, uh, Mr. Matt Slayer and Annie Cruz. And of course, Annie is missing in action currently, but yeah, said so she'll be so here any minute. She'll be here any Matt minute. Slayer. Matt Slayer, Matt Slayer, baby, awesome. and it, and it's great because because <laughs> like you see him and then you see him on Twitter and then like when I see him in person, I'm like. He looks like a fucking rock star. I have just found out. <laughs> Jiggy. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> you have given me the newest wrestling sensation. We will have some guy in Taz Wrestling called Matt Slayer. I love that. <laughs> that is awesome, isn't it? Now introducing from blah, 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 blah at 275 pounds, Matt Slayer. Because <laughs> you know you're on a mat it's there. It's a double so. meeting, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hey, you're on the wrestling mat. Wrestling hey, mat. mat. I'm saying. We He's kicking people. Ass, Dude, I love life. your name now, so. Man, your name is fucking awesome. That name is the shit. Matt Slayer, god damn it. <laughs> you can also be you associated, you know, with a lot of, like, 1980s <laughs> rock bands, too. And... Is that trademark? I'm going to have to use that. <laughs> that shit is dope. <laughs> so, uh, but besides doing the podcast and partying and hanging out, have, have you went to any conventions lately? Did you get drug out to that, uh... What was it they did I in Denver fairly Denver. recently? Uh, I just took out in Denver. I had some scheduling conflicts, unfortunately. And I'm going to try to make Chicago in two weeks, but it's not looking good. I'm shooting the camera. I know I, know I got a lot of people who want to go to Fetish Con. Are, are you going to be going to Fetish Con, or, or, or do you kind of try to stay away from those Florida? folks? Wait, what did he say? Ooh, Fetish Florida? No, I think so. I think so. If Jiggy won't take yeah. Matt, will you take me? <laughs> Where's your face? Oh, Cruz is here. Right here. Look at that. I think I think the the, the perv magnum mag pertinent perv magnum or something. Andy Cruz is showing up. Awesome. I, I tried to squeeze too many words into one sentence and it just came out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it is uh. 45 minutes after the hour, we have uh, Matt Slayer, Andy Cruz from And Now We Drink on the old skype rooney We have Jay Izzo, the author of Got Social Mediology. Dr. Jay Izzo. Doc. Here. Here. He's back. 
Yeah, he's back. He here. sent me a Twix. Sorry, That's my I motherfucker. Or, or as I refer to, uh, and and Matt Matt will probably appreciate this because he's 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 uh, in that world. I always refer to Jay Izzo as H to the Izzo, B to the Izzo. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we got Jay Bird Wells, John Mosier, and the last Equinox. Yar, <laughs> uproar. <laughs> so. Uh, so so how how does how does Annie Cruz uh, a, uh, a a an upstanding uh, perv magnet get get hooked up with with <laughs> Matt Slayer? How does this happen? I don't know, man. I just I um I just attract all sorts of uh, of folks because I guess I guess yeah, because I'm are. like this poker I know, so that's probably why. Hey, well. I got the last equinox over by my monitor, l- l- looking at your uh, picture there, Annie, and and, and their response is, "God damn!" <laughs> Slayer looks like a fucking gangster. Slayer know. looks like a gangster. I told you. <laughs> when you when you see this man in Vegas, I'm like, holy shit! Like he just put out- I'm glad he's on our side. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he just got somebody whacked for real. <laughs> I love it. It looked like a fucking album cover. <laughs> that is awesome, guys. And, 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 and now, and now, now we drink. Uh, uh, JPEG over there on their Twitter it does look like an album cover. It looks like you're getting ready to drop the hottest rap of them ever. Is, is that? I'm Who looking at Annie's Fergie? Twitter. Is she Thanks into Comic Con? Hell yeah. This is dope. Maybe. I am a cosplayer. She's a cosplayer. Yeah. Okay, okay now I can geek out. Okay. <laughs> I found her page. She, she's like dressed in an awesome cosplay. So she's a cosplayer. So in she's the, in that world. Of, yeah. In the cosplay world, everybody knows me as the belly dancing Jedi or the belly dancing Darth Maul. <laughs> oh, that's I might have seen you. Say that again. She said she might have seen you. Where? In? Where? Are? I don't know. Do you? I feel like I've seen a belly dancing Darth Maul before. Maybe I'm wrong. That's or maybe me. I'm confusing it with because you know they have a burlesque out here. They well, I no. know they have it. They that was Star me. Wars burlesque. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Have you ever been to San Diego Comic Con before? Not yet. No. No. Okay. You should if you, totally. Come if you look at my YouTube video, I just went ahead and harassed everybody and made a belly dancing Sith video. <laughs> that's awesome. That sounds really rad. I'm gonna have to check that out. So, uh, it, oh, we'll get back to the point. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm just. We can talk about comic books and cosplay all day. We can talk about comic books and cosplay and all the shenanigans of that. She's. And any, any, any fucking cruise. There she is. Yep. And, and, and some, some of the people that follow her, I think, are, uh, She's bad as fuck. <laughs> now, in your Twitter page, who are you cosplaying as? Um, so my main profile picture, I'm not actually specifically anybody. I'm more of a, um, like I like to describe as a post-apocalyptic mercenary. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm very into Mad Max and Fallout the video games. I wondered about so I, that. I've actually done a Fallout cosplay before. And my one friend who's actually pictured in the photo with me, he's a prop maker, and he actually, his name's David Brodo, Brodo, Bro, I can never pronounce his last name, Brodo, he's um, a Hollywood-based FX uh, makeup artist, and he does a lot of, like, um, crazy FX stuff, and he kind of implements it into cosplay, so we've done a lot of, like, Fallout-type um, photo shoots together, and, um, well, he's kind of like my, um, my, my cosplay buddy, we'll kind of do themes together, so Mad Max Fury Road, where I dressed as Furiosa and he dressed up as Max. Um, and then the one in the picture, that's just us being um, post-apocalyptic mercenaries. Something that you could potentially find in Mad Max or Fallout, any of those okay, kind of, um, uh, you know, worlds, if you will. Um, so, yeah. And then if you look at my, my cover photo on Twitter... You guys, I'm trying to listen to her. I'm trying my best to. <laughs> they're 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 perving out on Annie Cruz's okay. Twitter. Go she, ahead. She was talking. telling about the she cover photo. Aha. I think I see you in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is uh as as uh 
So do you go to the Comic Cons with like a table and you sell your pictures or do you just go to have fun? I just go to have fun. I honestly just go as a fangirl. Um, I'm a huge fan of a lot of different, you know, types of comic books, video games as well, you know, and I'm just, I'm just a very big film nerd in general, like, in general, I like all the things that you see at Comic-Con. I'm a huge Batman fan, I have, have him tattooed in the back of my neck, Uh, so I'm very huge into just dressing up as my favorite characters, and going to all the different panels, and then, of course, you know, cool people from all so I I definitely want to go there, I definitely go there just as a huge fan nerd. <laughs> I like her. Let's have her on the show again. Okay, Amy, one question for you here. Who's your favorite movie, Batman? What's that? Who's your favorite movie, Batman? Like, from the Batman movies? For the Batman films, I would say it's a cross between yeah, Keaton okay. and Bale. Uh, yeah, see, I love Keaton. He was my favorite, I think. Hey, do you watch Michael Gotham? Michael Keaton is the greatest Batman ever. Do you watch Gotham? I like Batman, I'm not gonna lie. Val Kilmer, he, oh. I, I feel like Val Kilmer, out of all the all the different um, versions that came out, I feel like he kind of took it a little seriously, and he actually wasn't bad. I, I like kind of her. Him as like a runner-up between those two. Um, and plus, when you think about it, like Burton's Batman films versus Nolan's films are completely different. You know, oh, one yeah. is very comic booky, whereas the other one is more. Um, you know, if Batman were to exist in real life, this is what that world looks like. So, um, yeah, definitely like both. And as far as like my favorite Batman, I would say definitely Keaton Bale, and then you know Val Kilmer up there on a. Yeah, mine, a, mine is Val Kilmer. You like, but see, I like I said, I thought he wasn't bad. Um, Do I, you I watch a Gotham TV series? The TV series Gotham. Uh, I think you guys are cutting out. Are you there? Are you there? There uh, we are. You guys cut out. I have no idea what you said. Do you like watching the Gotham TV series? You know, I watched um, the first two seasons. I enjoyed it. I mean, you know, there's a couple of things that, you know, obviously are a little different than, you know, what is actually um, it's supposed to be in the in the comic world. I'm not going to sit here and nitpick, but um, I enjoyed it. It was, you know, it's different. It's from... Uh, you know, when Bruce Wayne is much younger and kind of follows more um, Jim Gordon's life, you know, before he became the commissioner and what he had to go through before he got to that point. So I find that fascinating in itself, but I, I never actually got to, to got to the third season just yet because oh, I'm just man. so busy and, and there's just so many different TV shows out there. I just I don't know. have time to to anything, but I did enjoy it. I did. I definitely did enjoy it. I oh, man, you missed an awesome season, season um finale. Okay, and here's the comic you know, gate can be coming out yeah, here. I want to binge watch the third season now, just because a lot of people keep telling me you have to watch it, so I'm probably going to find some time to to um, to squeeze in there where I can actually do that. Yeah. Okay, Annie, comic geek and me coming out again like it used to. Um, have you seen the Flash series? It's probably one of the best ones I've seen as in the comic book series that came out. It's so very interesting because you're like the third person that I've heard say that. I was never really a fan of The Flash. We'll see. And, I... uh, you know, there's The Arrow came out, and then I felt like The Arrow, they were, I mean, I, I kind of liked The Arrow at first, but then, you know, it's just very, we were making it very dark, kind of like Batman almost. Um, and then The Flash came out, and then there's just all these different shows that came out, and I just didn't, like, I, again, didn't have time to catch up to a lot of stuff. Um, and I never really got around to watching The Flash, but a lot of people kept saying, um, that uh, that it's not bad, and I don't actually like it as just like what you just said right now is their favorite um, out of all. I guess the DC. There's a lot of Marvel series as well, but that's like mostly on Netflix, which I've found to to come to like as well. A lot of the ones that came out on Netflix. Yeah, the reason um, I like the Flash is because it kind of I'm I'm a comic geek from way way back, and they brought back people yes. that were from like the old Earth Two, like you had Jay Garrick the Flash. They had that. They brought people in, like, Adam Smasher, they were all characters of a, like, alternate universe, Earth 2 and stuff. Oh, yeah, I and like how you said Earth 2, because if, 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 if I remember correctly, that's the universe where, um, where Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne get married, they have right. a kid, and that ends up, ends up being, um, the Hunters. Yeah. I need yep. to <gasps> see that. Any, I like you, Jay is jumping in there. Hey, Annie. So I want to ask you, because you're such a big Batman fan, 
so we lost Adam West here, I guess, yesterday or the day before. Uh-huh. It was the original Batman. And I don't know how much you watched that old campy. Oh, I love that. I loved it. I, you know, I actually was going to mention this just now because um, he mentioned the Flash. I have a very fond memory of being at San Diego Comic Con where Adam West um, showed up and was instead of dressed up as Batman, he was wearing you know the remember the old school Flash TV show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was dressed up as that version of the Flash, and nobody at first knew it was him. And he was just kind of like walking around the convention floor, and then when it took people a minute, they're like, "Dude, that's Adam West dressed up as the Flash." So it's like my fondest memory of um, of Adam West years ago at the San Diego Comic Con. It's it, I'm really kind of bummed out. It's really really sad. Um, he like you know he was the the OG Batman. <laughs> oh, he was. And and a lot of people don't realize that show. If you go back and you can watch that old the old shows from the '60s, if you can watch it, it was. Really, very clever. It was very clever, and there was this. It's one of those things where it was kind of a cartoon. The old-fashioned cartoons where there was this. Children could love it, but there's this whole adult theme that was running across it. Oh yeah. That you might yes, and and especially as you know, I've gotten older, and I went back to revisit some of those old Batman's. I'm like going, oh my gosh, I did. I remember these as a kid, and they were fun. But now I see all the adult stuff. That oh, I just, like the little innuendos. That yes. Kind of, yeah. The sexual innuendos and intensity. You know, Lee Merriweather, who was the original Catwoman, I think she was. Uh, yeah. Or she, or she Catwoman or Batwoman? Which one was she? She was Catwoman in the um, movie. There was, there was three different women. Yeah, there's three different ones, right? Julie was, Newmar was the one in the series a lot more. Yeah, Julie yeah. Newmar. Right, right. And then you and, had Eartha Kitt. So there was, oh, Eartha Kitt. Yeah, Eartha Kitt. Uh, I like crossways Eartha Kitt because I kind of have that square face. <laughs> but, but it was, but it was like, I mean, there was all, there was all this sexual tendon, you know, in, you know, intensity that was going on in all this stuff. But you didn't pick it up as a kid. But then you watch this, you going, holy cow, Batman! Right? I mean, yeah. right? Holy cow! There's all this stuff. I mean, I, yeah, did you get that? That was the Burt. I Ward love reference. that. Sorry. I love that. <laughs> well, uh, we've we've got uh, Annie Cruz, Matt Slayer from, and now we drink. And uh, Jay Izzo and the crew here, we are wrapping up here on Radio Xenu. We are going to keep going, though, on uh, JiggyJaguar.com. But uh, I know that Annie and Matt have places to be and things to drink. So <laughs> <laughs> we will... Uh... Turn out, turn out, turn out. <laughs> uh, before we let you guys go, uh, we need to do this again, by the way, at, 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 a, cer- yes. at a certain yes, stage. And, uh, of course, uh, you know... Like Houston was saying earlier, all 40. Uh, Matt, in every photo, every like press photo you have for this, and now we drink, you just look like you're just some kind of fucking pimp. <laughs> and, uh, he just, but he means some kind, he is. <laughs> he looks like some fucking hey. gangster in every single one of these. Like he's just ordered someone to be killed. I do. <laughs> I want him with the fishes. <laughs> That's right. I want him with the fishes. <laughs> well, uh, before we let you guys go, uh, get the plugs out there. How do we get a hold of you guys and download the shows and, and all that? Well, you can find us at andnowwedrink.com. We're on Twitter at andnowwedrink. And then, of course, we're also on Instagram at andnowwedrink underscore because somebody else has the name. Um, you can find me, Annie Cruz, at, at Annie Fucking Cruz on Twitter, <laughs> at Annie Cruz on Instagram, and then of course my website, AnnieCruz.com. Fantastic. You can find me at Matt underscore Slayer on Twitter, Matt Slayer on Instagram, Matt Effing Slayer on Facebook, and Matt Slayer on Snapchat. Yeah, I use that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as Annie's, but. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for being with us today, guys. Thanks for having us. Definitely. We'll talk to you soon. Matt Slayer, and uh, we got Jay Izzo still with us here. Jay, before we let you go, my friend, for this uh, lovely uh, fun time episode, give me kind of a wrap-up here on on everything here on Radio Xenu, and then uh, mention the books and everything else, and then we're going to get to uh, 40 in the crew here in studio. But go ahead, my friend. Well, first of all, thanks for letting me be a part of this for the past couple hours. This was a lot of fun, and uh, 
guys, um, I'm wishing you all the just best success in the world. Um, I just hope you guys make millions upon millions of dollars, and uh, I get to see you somewhere on stage uh, in, in 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 Raleigh, perhaps someday. And we get to see you out there and uh, introduce you. myself to you. So I, I wish you absolutely the best of luck. And Jay Bird, um, I am going to text you my phone number, and we are going to talk. And I'm going to do whatever I can do to help you um, with your book. And we'll talk about some of those things. So we'll we'll chat. We will definitely chat off the air. Sweet. And you got to come to the studio. Man. Yes, no you, 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 you've got to you've got to come to Hutch, Jay. And there's a, there's a place in Wichita you can get some free food at if you did. <laughs> hey, but this is a great place to say. It's called Heroes. Hey, if you're listening right now, you need to check out Heroes. All right, it's great. Go eat, get a drink. Doc, I already had a man crush on you afterwards, but now even more. So, <laughs> you need to go check that out. Uh, anyway, if you want to get a hold of me, it's really I think I see the table lifted over there. Got social mediaology with a question mark? Yes. At, at any store, and if they don't have it on the shelf, just tell them to bring it in because it's absolutely they can get it from my distributor. But certainly Barnes and Noble, Hudson Books, and Amazon, of course, and it's available in all the different formats. You can get it Kindle, iBook, Nook. You can also get it Audible and iTunes. And you can hear these lovely, these what I call the golden tones of Jay Izzo reading my book to you. So you can do that. You can find me on you can find me on every social media platform available. That's absolutely true. At, at Twitter, it's at Internet Doctor, all spelled out. At at Internet Doctor on Facebook. At at the Internet Doctor on Instagram. At the at Internet Er on Snapchat. Just look for Internet Doctor. I am the only registered trademark in the world. So if you see an R with a circle around it that says Internet Doctor, you know you have found that me, and you. I would love to connect with people and connect with you. And uh, James, I am so grateful to you for um, always having me on your show and you're always so kind to invite me in and let me have some fun with you and I really do appreciate that and John uh, it's a pleasure and congratulations on Heroes I actually read about that on Facebook that uh, you started taking that over and congratulations on that I look forward to seeing what you're going to do there and if there's um, something I can do to kind of take a look at for you please don't hesitate to uh, connect with me on, on, on any of the social media channels but I'm already following you on Facebook and <laughs> like your that. page for the internet thing. So, yeah. So if there's something I can do, just don't hesitate to ask if I can help you out there, at heroes. If there's some tip or something that I can do, just let me know. I'd be happy to do that as well. Um, as you well. are the so, bomb, sir. Thank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Houston and the crew are going to be uh, are going to be knocking down your door trying yeah. to get. Uh... I mean, guys, yeah. Feel free to do that. <laughs> I'm happy to I'm happy to help you guys if I can uh